Hey, what's up, YouTube? To all my subscribers, your boy, Favorite 67 here. I just want to do a special tribute video to Mike Illich. In case my subscribers don't know who he is, he's the owner of Little Caesars, the Detroit Tigers, and the Detroit Red Wings. This past Friday, he passed away at the age of 87. And when we all heard about this news, you know, it's very sad and devastating because this man did a lot of great things for my city of Detroit. He helped a lot for the community. One of the nicest guys that you want to meet in person. When he first started out, Little Caesars, he opened up his first store in Garden City, Michigan. And ever since then, his piece of franchise became nationwide. One of the greatest pizzas you ever ate. When he first brought out the Tigers and the Red Wings, he turned both of those teams around. We made it to the playoffs 25 years straight. The Red Wings made it to the playoffs 25 years straight. We even in the Stanley Cup Finals and we won Stanley Cups. That is amazing what this man did for this team. And when you people talking about hockey, that the first team that people's going to bring up to you are the Detroit Red Wings. Because we're a hockey town. We is like one of the greatest hockey teams ever, thanks to Mike Illich. And when it comes out to the Detroit Tigers, he turned that team around. We even made it to the World Series, but we never won a World Series. Which, which is, you know, mind-blowing. That a man like that, you know, turned those teams from rock bottom to one of the greatest teams ever till this day. And also, around this time when I graduated from high school, he built a brand new Tiger Stadium called Comerica Park. Right across the street from the Fox Theater, the place that he also, you know, owned. And now, right now in downtown Detroit, we got a brand new hockey arena building the ground up. It's going to open nearly at the end of the summer called Little Caesars Arena. And this project is not just the arena alone. You know, the whole area is going to be called District Detroit. Not only that we gain a brand new arena, the whole entire district is 50 blocks of brand new hotels, winter desho, apartments, you know, this project is very huge. One of the greatest projects that I have not seen in a very long time in Detroit. With the thanks of the Illich family. We also got a brand new Little Caesar headquarters is being built right now. And that's going to open up next year. It's going to be right next to the Fox Theater. Not just that, we're getting a Mike Illich School of Business, which is named after the legend himself. It's going to be right next to the brand new arena. Those two projects I just got through talking about just now, that's part of this to Detroit. And we, it's a whole more brand new projects is going to be
built, you know, months and years ahead. And the whole entire project that's coming out, his money is like almost close to like a billion dollars, which this is like one of the big, amazing achievements for Mike Illich and his family, what they doing for the city of Detroit. Throughout decades, people, you know, we losing population in the city and the city went through a lot of bad times, including the whole mayor scandal from Kwame Kilpatrick. But when all this went on, Mike Illich never gave up for the city. This is, you know, this is, you know, the man that, look, I don't really care if the city rots or not, I'm going to help rebuild the city. And that's what he exactly did. This man helped the community. He helped two of the hometown sports teams to get to the playoffs in the finals. And like this man, and like this man touched the heart of many Detroiters. And when I heard that he passed away, like, you know, I wish I could meet this man because this is like one of the coolest guys ever that helped the city out. And um, even, even if he's gone, his legacy, his legacy is going to live on. And his son, Chris Illich, you know, he's now going to, you know, pass on his father's legacy. Yeah, so that's all I got to say, people. And like I said, this is a very devastating time for the Illich family. And my condolences goes out to Chris Illich, you know, and the rest of the family. And, you know, my city of Detroit, you know, we all hurting that this guy is not gone. But like I said, he did a whole lot for this, this city. And... If you ever come and visit Detroit, um, you're going to see a whole lot of changes in downtown, in Midtown. Because Mike Illich is one of the people who helped rebuild the city. And the momentum is not stopping there. It's still going. We got a, whole, we got a lot of brand new developments going on in the city ever since Detroit went up. You know, we exit from bankruptcy. And like I said, Mike Illich, he's one of the people that helped out. And like I said, it's very sad that he had to pass away like this. But like I said, his legacy is going to live on. Yeah, so that's all I got to say, people. Uh, if you guys want to know more about Mike Illich and what he did for the city. I will post a few links on the description so y'all can know more about him. And that's all I got to say, people. Um, I just want to say thank you very much, Mike Illich, for what you did for the city. And if it wasn't for you, Detroit will be nowhere. Yeah, so rest in peace, Mr. I. You will be missed. Till next time, your boy Figure Six One Seven saying peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Rest in peace, Mike Illich. You will be missed.